Hey guys, Silly here. Here's a quick video on where to get all the items needed to get the most out of your scav case. Let's get into it. For those who are unfamiliar with the scav case, the scav case is a station you can build in your hideout that essentially lets you put in items and get some random items back in return. So let me open it up here. As you can see, we have a few tiers of what you can put in. You can put in 2,500 rubles, 1,500, 95K, Intel, or Moonshine. The items I recommend you put in are either the Intel, the Moonshine, or the 95K. And that's because these tiers allow you to get the most possible returns out of your scav case now of course sometimes you might not profit i've heard some people say that the moonshine has been making them a lot of money i've i've heard some people say the intelligence folder is making them more money and honestly i, I kind of just think it comes down to the rng some people might have the moonshine work better for them or the intel work better for them or even the 95k work better for them but the main rule is that the intel scav case has a higher chance of giving you things like rare keys or just keys in general as well as a lot of weapons i've been getting a lot of weapons from the intel scav case the moonshine seems to be better with like military items and spawns and the 95k kind of touches on both of those things but just has a lesser chance but is cheaper but honestly all three of these tiers that i recommend have very similar loot pools i prefer the intel but that's just me so for an example here I just did the moonshine case. Let's see what we get. We got a few crappy items and an AK, so not the greatest. Sometimes you don't get anything that great, but then a lot of times you can get military corrugated hoses, you can get P filters, you can get like the armbands, some of those items, as well as almost every key in the game, like your labs cards, even your red key card, blue, purple, the, those sort of items. So the first item we're gonna need is fuel. And the reason why I love fuel with the scav case is because you can always be crafting your intelligence folder and your moonshine while you're doing your scav cases so you always have one of them ready to go so to get my fuel one of my favorite places to go is ollie so here we are at the front of ollie there's the entrance there there's back ollie we're just going to take a right right near the entrance here and we're going to look towards these back shelves now these back shelves are a great spot for fuel but they also happen to be a great spot for the water filters. And the water filters are good to make moonshine. So you're kind of hitting two birds with one stone with this one. So we can see we already got one filter there. I'm going to be looking all on these back shelves. Another water filter right there. So we want to make sure anywhere that where these gaps here or these motors and water filters are. Wow, okay. There's four water filters right here. Pretty sure these goes for a pretty penny too so while you're looking for your fuel look at that we have four water filters back there you can also get a lot of those which will help you in moonshine crafts you want to be looking along any of these back shelves so if you just take a flashlight or you just jump in on a scab or something in between runs you can always come to ollie real quick and look all along these green shelves and that's where you're gonna be finding your fuel so I'm going to quickly run this and I'll just show you what I grab at the end. I would also like to point out that these shelves here in the back right corner near to the back entrance which is just right there Oop, zoom these shelves can also spawn the fuel tanks as you can see there's a motor up here and some items on these boxes so these can also have item spawns not a lot of people think they do or just don't check them because they're not one of the green shelves but they can certainly spawn fuel tanks Okay, so we didn't find any fuel this time on the green shelves, but we did get five water filters that will help us for the moonshine craft. But just keep looking in Ollie on those shelves and in the back corners, you can find a bunch of fuel just doing a few runs of that, no problem. So the next item we're gonna be looking for is the moonshine. The best places to find moonshine is probably woods. And that's because none of the spawns are behind key doors. 
and there's just so many moonshine spawns on woods. So let's get into it. The first one we're gonna be looking for is by the village. We're gonna be mainly focusing on these two buildings on our left. As you can see, there's the larger mountain that way, facing the north, and that's the south. So two buildings are gonna be on our west side of the street. We're gonna go in and we're gonna be looking on all of these surfaces for sugar or the moonshine bottles. And that's because sugar will actually help us craft some if we can't actually find any. So first building, no luck. That is okay. We're gonna be leaving and going on to the second one. Go ahead and look in here. So same deal here. We're gonna be looking on all these services for either the sugar or the moonshine. As well as over here they can spawn. Or in this room there's more ration spawns on the floor. Unfortunately, no luck here. While you're doing your moonshine runs, I will also point out that you can't find intel on this den. You might as well pick that up because that is another item we'll be needing for the scab case. Another place it can spawn that people don't really know about is in the shed right behind the building we were just in. It can also spawn in here. I've seen it on this box right there. There's more rations might spawn on the floor as well, so be looking for those. But in this case, no luck. Check all of those spots, you will find sugars and you will find moonshines. Another great place you can find moonshine is the abandoned village. In the abandoned village, you want to be looking through these buildings. A lot of ration spawns you can find on the ground, like right here you can find a moonshine. I'm be looking all around here, there's another ration spawn there. I haven't seen a moonshine spawn in that specific spot, but I'm sure it can happen as I've seen one on the bed. Now in the next building we're going to go to, as you can see, we're in the central dirt path. The church will just be right there. The next building I find moonshines in a lot is the one closest to the church, right on the bed. Oh, well, there you go. There's the moonshine spawn. So right there on the bed, another great spot you can find moonshine. The next place we're going to go is we're going to keep to the right of the church side because I don't think any of the buildings on that side spawn expensive rations. So we're going to go to the last building with the candle on it or just past the building with the candle on it over here into the one with the broken roof past the little fire area and in this one as well we'll have more ration spawns where you can possibly get your moonshine now, what's in this box oh it's a skull ring sorry guys got distracted but in here you have some more expensive ration spawns so look around in here on the floor on the surfaces for your moonshine. Another great place you can find moonshine is at the like shipping container camp right across from the scav bunker which is just down there. So the moonshine can be found and I can't remember exactly which if it's this one or this one or just both but on these tables where this milk conditioner is you can find expensive ration spawns. So on this table up here and if you go up into this one as well as you can find it on this table here. The USAC camp is also another good place to find moonshine. Now you have to come to the side with the cars, which is the westernmost side, but you can see here you have the two cars. And on these crates over here, where you can see the meds and the juice on the wood there, as well as on some of these tables and the tent, as well as on these tables here, you can find moonshine or other expensive ration spawns like the sugar that you're looking for to make some. So do not miss out on the USEC camp if you're looking for some moonshine. Now the last two locations I like to look for the moonshine at is the sawmill. There is a spawn in the first shack. As you can see, these are numbered three and two and one. So in shack one right here, you can find it on the table next to the microwave, so it's spawned right here. And at the purple key card spawn, actually. So when I'm always looking for that purple key card, because I've been trying to find it in raid, in this white shack just ahead of me here, we have another moonshine spawn on the table. So let's go ahead and give that a search. 
And right where these juice are, you can find your moonshine as well. Editor Silly here. I'm a dummy and I forgot to tell you one last moonshine location on Woods. It's right next to the lumber mill, which is just that way. So after you're checking the lumber mill, there's the coast. There's a sniper rock you can get on top of. It's in this white tent right here. You can get a moonshine right here on this white rag. You can also get some USBs here, so... That's a cool little spot. And now we move on to intelligence. The second item I recommend using for the scav case. So the first map I like to look for intel on is customs. Now there's one spawn not many people know about in the trash can. I'll just go up these stairs here. Of the director's office in big red. So we're going to head and go in there. Open that door. I believe it's in the breach room. Let's go ahead. And the intel will be right here in the garbage can. There's another view of Big Red, just for those who might not know where this is. It's the big shipping area, Big Red Warehouse. The next spot we can look for intel is the Crack House Medical Building. Just where the Sniper Warehouse is, there's Skeletal down there, just so you can see it. Let's go ahead and turn our flashlight on. Perfect. We're gonna to wanna to walk in and head up to the second floor, which is on the right side of the building. And in this room, through these wooden doors, is like a library area. Now you wanna be looking along these books, because it can spawn in these book piles. It can spawn on these bookshelves. And there's like two or three spawns at least in this room. So you wanna be keeping your eyes peeled especially because they're kind of brown and they blend in very easily to the shelf so a lot of people actually loot this and miss some but i didn't find any there but if you come into this room and look at all these shelves and on the floor you'll definitely find some another great place you can find all your intel spawns is on lighthouse now the first place i'm gonna check is info shack because i spawn here so we might as well but it's this yellow building. It's pretty close to the place I call Hideout City or the Spa or New Village down there. We're just going to open up this fence here. We're going to open this door. Finally, this last one. And it's an Intel spawn right here underneath this lamp. So that's where you want to be looking. Another place you can find your Intel is by this mechanized vehicle under the green tents next to warehouse 2 the northernmost warehouse if you run just next to the vehicle here right on the desk actually there it is right there is the intelligence spawn so again here's the car there's warehouse 2 right on that green table now this brown house right off the main highway that's just down that way one of the first buildings you'll see when you come to the newer village has two really cool intel spawns so let's go ahead and i'll show you where those are if you just head right up these stairs as soon as you come in to your right nope to your left in this room right here on the desk by the lamp you can find an intel spawn right here and if you go into the next room first on your left right in this shelving area you can find another intel spawn Man, Lighthouse, or should I say Loot House, is just so full of intel spawns. So here we are right outside the spa in the bluish looking building. If we come right in through the front here, oh, open the door, right up these stairs and to our left, right here in the bedroom, we have an intel spawn right here in this white cabinet area. I've heard one can spawn right there, but I haven't seen that one but we got one right from here. Another spawn for the intel folder is if you go into the USEC chalet, the one with the darker roof, and you walk right in and go down to the middle floor and walk all the way left to the door on your left into this movie theater room. According to the wiki, you can get an intel on one of these chairs. I haven't seen it yet, but on one of these chairs, you should be able to find an intelligence spawn. The last place I look for my intel spawns is the little shed just to the south of it. So there's the chalet there with the black roof. I'm going to walk into this smaller shed and right here somewhere on the TV stand, you can find an intel spawn. So now after we have found all of those items, once you have the scab case, you can use the intel option 
you can use the moonshine option that I talked about earlier. And if you have found some of the water filters and the sugars, then you can craft your super water right here in your water collector three. And then you can use your booze generator right here to add the water you got from the filters, the sugar you have from woods or wherever else you may find it and you can craft your moonshine. For the intel, because I play a lot of maps like interchange commonly, as you can see, I'm crafting here. I, cr I use three flash drives. I use paper to craft the intel. And if you don't have USBs, you can craft the USBs really easy right here. So it just takes a G phone, a GPX, and a SSD to craft three USBs, which then I put into the intel craft with one paper. All these items are very common if you loot interchange a lot. So I constantly have the Intel and Moonshine crafting while I throw them into the scav case. In this case, I don't have an Intel ready, but I will just buy one and let it rip. Another thing to mention is that your scav karma actually dictates how long the returns for the scav case could be. So for example, if I check my scav karma, I just got six. 0.01. And if I go into my hideout right now, you can see that my intelligence was just under three hours or is just around three hours before I get my items. Now you know where to find all the items you need for your scab case. And honestly, if you play woods a lot or you play lighthouse a lot, you'll commonly be finding the intel or if you play woods, moonshine. So it, there's really not that much cost to using the higher tiers, even though the moonshine does cost around 300K as well as the intel. You'll be finding so many that I always just typically throw them in there and then you have a bunch left over for you to sell. Because I personally like having a chance at getting a very rare item. You could technically go for the very cheap options in the scav case and mostly profit, but come on now, man, that's no fun, you know? That's no fun. But I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.